Hey guys and girls, this is Garden Overkill with episode number 5. In the current Adom run which celebrates the Steam release of Ancient Domains of Mystery, our hero is Sterion, male level 14, High Elven Necromancer. In the last episode we made a whole lot of progress. We found the High Mountain Village, we went to the pyramid and successfully cleared it and we dove quickly into this dwarven town that we just reached. On the way we found a couple of amazing items, the best being those seven league boots but also a spell book that uh, allowed us to learn our first ball spell, ice ball. And well, all in all we're doing really well I think. So let's take a look into dwarf town. And the first thing I always like to do here so open that door and visit the mayor of the town. And this guy gives us a quest. He wants us to slay a stone statue. Okay, a stone statue should not be too hard to find. He also gives us another quest. I'm a little bit spoiled, so I know that. I'll talk with him about the portal and we take the portal quest. And apart from that, I think it might be a good idea to visit the shop soon. We've got two charges of teleportation, but we are chaotic. We are chaotic, so this guy won't give us anything. <coughs> Probably worth changing alignment, but no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Oh, fuck, idiot. Completely forgot that I uh, cannot identify my stuff here. Those rats were summoned. Because I uh, dropped stuff to identify on an altar of a uh, of a hostile deity. Oh, this here is a neutral altar, and we are chaotic. Cannot do that. So I rather <coughs> bless a couple of our scrolls of identify. And read one of them. So. That, okay, here we've got uh, Mimic. I think we should better kill him with magic. Frostbolt. One more for Frostbolt. Excellent, the Mimic's down. There are still a couple more rats to kill. Come on. Oh, starving, that's not good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um. A little short on food, I think I'll eat one stomophilia. Yet another rat, that's annoying. It's just ordinary rat causes, you don't need these. So now let's take a look what this shop has to offer. Grease Malay Accuracy, that's not bad. Spellbook of Burning Hands, that's excellent, I love that spell. Adamantium Warhammer, not bad. Stunray, well, not too bad. There are a lot of books in here. Knock, Utility, uh, Water, that's cool. Mm. Don't need gold detection. Another more Stunray, <laughs> another pair of seven league boots. Wow, I would have been really happy about that if we didn't have a pair already. And that's all the good stuff. Have we got enough money to buy it all? Yes, we've got it. So, pay for all these items. Apart from that, we also have to sell a couple of things. What don't we need? Hmm. The heavy boots. This... Wait, 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 wait. First, I, I want to have at least the best prizes we can get, so we equip the amulet of the silver tongue and now we sell it. Mm. I sell the other amulet of the silver tongue, sell the rapier, sell those bows. Mm. The Skugar of Returning and the Weighted Arrow. So the Holy Symbol and the Thieves Picks. Mm. 
both rings of stun resistance I guess that's everything we want to sell Bob Root, Chris Bone, Bob Root <coughs> couple more crappy herbs and we sell the sapphire and the ruby <coughs> so Well, well, that's fine for the moment. Um, one more thing I'd like to do is probably drink a couple of these potions after eating the apple, that means... Um, we have reached our potential maximum in strength and toughness. What about charisma? I just drink the potions right now. One, two, three. Increasing our charisma potential to 13. Potential learning. Our learning potential is super high already, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll drink it anyway. We've got two potions of toughness. Wow. Hmm. Well, first, uh, mana. Potential learning, even more learning potential. What about dexterity? Okay, we can increase that without the potion for a while. And the potential is super high. I can just drink the other potions of potential dexterity. Drink the potion of wonder, which gives us the create item spell. Not bad. Training, a bit, little bit healing. Well, and I will bless the potions of toughness and drink at least one of them. That means we're bloated now, but well, that's okay for me. I want to drop a couple of items though, that's why I zap a wand of door creation up here. and drop the stuff in this little room. This, and the backup 7 lick boots. Exchange the amulet, just so we don't forget it. Hmm. The construct slayers, we need them later. Climbing set, we need it later. I drop one of the potions of insight. I drop the potion of toughness. No, 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 I don't drop that. <coughs> <coughs> but I drop willpower, I drop uselessness, and I probably also drop the cursed potion of invisibility. I drop dexterity. Um. Corruption removal, definitely. Don't want to lose that. Protection. Increase melee. Increase melee. I use that later when we find a really good weapon. That's it. I think I want to improve our learning a little bit, so I bless the crystal of knowledge and use it. Yeah, two points of learning. Excellent. And we should be ready to go. The first thing we do now, after this uh, tiny bit of inventory management, is getting down here and scouting the next levels of the Caverns of Chaos. And well, you might be wondering why we rushed through this location in such a high speed in the last episode. The reason is I wanted to get this quest first. Kill a stone statue. That means that we've got a whole lot of levels now which we can search for the stone statue. Where's the secret door? Here. Frostbolt. Oh crap, I forgot. I wanted to read the books first also. 
maybe I'll do that here, close the door, read burning hands. Oops, wrong button. Read knock. Magic missile. And twice stun ray. Oops, that was a scroll of light, my bad. But we've got 700 burning hands. That's really good. Couple of knocks. And all in all, I'm very happy with our arsenal of spells at the moment. <coughs> Okay, Jackal way around. Ah, yeah, for sure. Let's train a little bit our weapon skills. I picked the melon because we don't have a very big amount of food with us. Although we're still bloated. Oh, we fell into, into the hole. Let's apply first aid and continue scouting. Okay, let's kill this guy. Magic missile. Stone golem. That's too bad. I was not sure if it was a stone golem or a stone statue. We should probably somehow hit it. It's dodging everything. Can we kill it in melee? Yes, we can. Good. And we pick up the ancient scythe. I'm not gonna use it. But I definitely want to take it and maybe sell it. For a good price. Let's cast knock to open the door. Thus avoiding any bad surprises with uh with traps. <laughs> oh mummies. I'm feeling so sorry for them. Oh, we're out of power points. I see. That's a big room full of mummies. Take the corals, the key, the potions, the money and the gem. Also this money. Okay, and there comes a spider from behind. Kill it. And back to the mummies. We are quite strong in melee either. Especially taking into account that we still have no better weapon than that uh, that uh, that whip that we are using. We are a master of whip using. I'm not sure if I ever had a character who got whips level six. Okay, there is a mimic. I want to get rid of that quickly. Come on, mimic fire for you. Burning hands should be a good spell against him. Magic missile against... Oh no, we're once again out of power points. Uh, burning hands takes too many power points. Why do we need so many power points to cast the spells at the moment? Oh, that's uh, a giant. For Mori and giant. Probably the most ugly of giants. Now I think that this... Uh, ha I'm not sure if we have poison resistance. Let's eat this spider. Oh, we cannot eat it. I forgot we're still bloated. And there is another neutral altar. And I somehow feel like... Converting that altar. I think that's what I'll do. <coughs> I want to have a co-aligned altar close to Dwarf Town. Let's 
So all the doors are closed. Let's unequip our stuff now. Mm, probably except for the ring of damage. I need one thing still in our inventory. I'll drop everything. I'll pick up the money. Where is the money? Drop everything. How did it work here? Oh, I didn't drop anything in the first place. But now I have here. Pick it up and convert this altar to chaotic alignment. I just sacrifice all our money here. And now we've got an evil chaotic altar. Perfect. Oh, fuck. That was dangerous. Can I kill these guys quickly? Maybe with magic missile? I'm not sure if undead are able to sacrifice, but if they are, then this was really close. I guess we can also bless some water. Excellent. And equip our stuff again. <coughs> <coughs> so where are the weapons? I hear the scourge of might. Oh, wait. Uh, what am I doing? Scourge of might. Yeah. And other hand, large mithril shield. Damage. Ring of acid resistance, maybe? Yes. No, not acid resistance. Uh, what resistance do we still need? Um, I'm not sure about the fire resistance. Maybe I should... Yeah, yeah. I equip fire resistance, rather. I take the other bow for more damage. And I think it's okay like that. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Did we have two downstairs here? Yeah, okay. That means we don't have any more levels to scout here for the moment. We are already in the two downstairs level. So we need to find our stone statue on the higher levels. Take that with me. Makes me a bit burdened, but well, but well, I don't care. 200 sword, that sells for good money. Burning hands against this guy. He might have a corrupting touch that I don't want to, uh, to feel. At least not if I can avoid it. So let's go sell some stuff. And if I say some stuff, I mean, uh, well, I mean at first, oh crap, uh, first I equip our amulet of the silver tongue, and then I sell this, and the ancient scythe. The sword is 500, and the scythe is 11,000, excellent. And I somehow feel... Taking that ruby ring that was just dropped here, but uh, I also somehow feel like putting our gold up here. We don't need to carry the gold around. It's just heavy. So, and back up. From now on, we go back up the way that we came yesterday. But this time we will not rush through it. We will rather scout every level and try to find a stone statue. Got some bolt for you, frost bolt. Nice. Good, very good, very good. And he had another book of frost bolt. But what is a lot more exciting? We've got another 
book that we didn't know yet. Okay, let's eat that spider now. Okay, apparently we... Oh, no, we were not yet poison resistant, but now we are resistant to poison. Cool. Also means we can now increase our toughness even further. Yes, 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 that's what I do. I will dip the other potion of toughness into holy water as well and drink it. Uh, thus increasing our toughness score to a really nice 21 points. That's really cool. That gives us another point of protection value, which is now how high? 20. Wow. Let me remind you that we are spellcaster. How we are yet missing a really good weapon, but uh, our armor and defense, that's really good. I pick up the whips, because maybe there is some super cool whip of devastation among them. Who knows, who knows. How do we get to the next level? Ah, uh, yeah, there. Invisible Stalker. Shrugs that bolt. Can he also shrug the magic missile? No, he cannot. And another magic missile f finishes him off. Okay, and this level is also a corridor missing. <coughs> Slowly but surely we're getting a nice supply of food again. I really like that. This is a clay golem. No stone statue either. Too bad. And there were some herbs that we would just pick up the moment we reach them. Why do we find so many whips now? Are they always so common? Come on, Dark Sage. Kill him. Good. And we pick up these herbs. Curaria and Araunia Antidote. And we're done with the level. Nice. That went quickly. Uh, here we are. It's a good feeling that we can easily melee these enemies. Okay, okay, yeah, I think he just disarmed us. Yeah, that's what he does. Mm. But we're going in the wrong direction. We want to the upstairs. I'm not exactly sure how long we will play today. Um, maybe not too long because I am seriously a little bit tired, which might have something to do with the fact that my favorite football club played a really good match yesterday. Hamburger SV, they bet Borussia Dortmund 3 1 at home, which was really excellent. And uh, maybe, maybe I uh, saw that match in the bar and we drank a little bit, probably a bit too much. That's why I'm a tiny bit wasted. But well, but well. At least uh, a short episode should definitely be possible. So that I am good. And this is the big room here. I definitely want to get invisible again. Let's go through here, pick up the herbs, kill that guy. Check the is this an ordinary battle axe, I don't know. Yeah. Now 
Yeah, the herbs are really the most interesting thing in here. Vortex. Magic missile. Firebolt. Yes, that one hit. It's kinda clear that frost vortices don't like to get hit by fireballs. Okay, blink dog, dangerous. If they see me and start multiplying, uh, I really don't want that to happen. Probably I cast invisibility a couple more times. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, fuck. Firebolt. Don't want to exhaust myself. I've got a wand of fire. Not exactly. We should be quicker than him. Oh, oh, oh. almost attacked the cat. Uh, well, I actually did attack it, but uh. Wait. Vortex, please explode. We lost the potion of ultra healing. That's a little bit sad. Hope that would not happen. We got a nice sword, therefore. I will check that out. Maybe that's a new weapon for us. Adamantium long sword? Nope, it's actually not. Better, at least not as well as we trained with our weapon. But the nice thing is, the cat is dead. An ebony wand? What kind of a wand is that? And why are we all, all the time so low on power points? I think that our spells really cost a whole lot. I have to take out the whip. Maybe that's the super whip I'm looking for. That would be cool if we could play the whole run being a whip wielder. And level 15. Fine, fine. Get alchemy to 70. And increase healing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, good. Also, we get another talent. I'm not sure which one we take now. Maybe we continue with the shields. Shield expert. That's what we are now. Well, and that's the big room. That's everything we wanted to do here. Oh. Another Blink Dog Corpse. Do we want to sell that to the shop? I guess we probably will. I guess we will, yes. I have to get rid of these guy this guy though. Wait. Good. One shot at him with burning hands. Okay, okay. I think I'll bring that uh, Blink Dog Corpse back to Dwarf Town, and that's where I'll end the episode. I think it's not the longest of episodes, but on the other hand, I really realize that I'm still a bit wasted. I'm not feeling completely perfect, and before I play with low concentration and mess anything up, I guess it's better that we do it like this. So we had a little bit of a break this time, no fantastic, spectacular events that happened. But on the other hand, maybe that's not the worst thing. Oh, oh, oh don't rot away. Don't you dare rotting away.
So here we are selling bubbling tokovs. That means, as I, I'll just explain it for those who don't know yet, um, you know that uh, food rots away, especially these corpses, but there's one trick. If you sell a corpse to a shop, it will remain intact until you buy it again. And that's what I wanted to do. That's absolutely nice, that's excellent. And this is the last thing to do in this episode. So the only thing I still have to do is say thanks again for amazing support. Yes, that this episode has, I think, 17 or 18 likes and also far more than 100 views. That's really, really good for one day. Keep up that great support, guys, and keep supporting Adom. Buy it on Steam, play it, and uh, enjoy the adventure. Apart from that, see you next time. Bye, everybody.